You say the price of my war is not a price that you're willing to pay. (laughs) (laughs) Well, we suck. Is that too? All right, whatever. All right, welcome back to the horrible. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to No Jason Broadcast. I'm Tim Shot the Rock Zoo. I'm Ricky Shuck. I'm Nikki Blades. How you guys feeling today? Sheepy. Sheepy? Man, Rick has been out partying and clubbing like there's oh, no bro. tomorrow, bro. 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 out now. It's fucking weird. It's the spring of Rick. And it's not like there's no tomorrow. It's one fucking time. And oh my God, <laughs> it feels like forever. I learned two things, though. What so for you? those of you who don't know, I went to the club last night. For the first time in a long time, being an old person, right? <laughs> and I found out, one, I am an old person. Uh-huh. I was tired from doing nothing. <laughs> I didn't dance. You know I don't drink. Yeah. Yeah. I just came to support the homie. I was fucking tired. <laughs> and two, I am short. Oh. I always knew I wasn't tall. Yeah. But I am short. Yeah, I mean, but also you were out at a club in, you said Santa Monica? Santa Monica. It's a lot of tall people. Was there a lot of white people at the club? No. So, okay, before you continue, real quick, a quick side tangent. When I went to the fucking bars in like Manhattan Beach, the whites out there are like super whites. (laughs) They're like avatar whites. They're so (laughs) tall. I don't know where we're going. (laughs) They're just very tall. They're them aliens that everybody talk about. Yeah, I guess so. (laughs) I guess. But yeah, no, like, there was no... There was no girl in heels that was shorter than me. Whoa. You You had a bunch of me's running around? Uh... Not as tall as you, maybe like a little bit the same height okay, as me. Okay, about like five, yeah. seven, yeah. eight. I also learned Nikki is not that tall. No, well, yeah, I yeah. keep talking. Some people are saying because she, you had on heels yeah. yesterday. She's not much taller than me right. in the heels. So that means without heels, I'm taller than you. I never look yeah. at that. I think so. I well, we'll put it to I the test so. by the end of this episode. By the end of this episode. But. Again, but when, yes, um, a lot of tall ass people yeah. in the club, and they didn't look tall. So I'm just like, oh, I'm just short. Welcome to my world, buddy boy. The uh, world yeah, of no, realization. That is tiny. <laughs> <laughs> a big difference. We, but you got to remember. He thought he was tall this whole time because he was hanging out with you. Like if you was there last night. Yeah. Okay. You remember Duncan? Duncan. The photographer. Uh, sorry, Duncan. I don't remember you. Uh, oh, I don't think you met Duncan. You actually, you were not there when he yeah. shot for us, but yeah. So y'all are around the same height or some right. shit like that. He looked so small oh, <laughs> in man. there. Yeah, I was like, oh shit. Well, you got to remember too. We spend a lot of our time going to the Asian clubs, and everybody around there is around. Uh, you know, it's yeah. tall ones, but hey, you know, I'm good bro, there. It was Asian people in there. Tall ones. Tall. I was like, yo, what the fuck is going on? Man, what the fuck? <laughs> also, speaking That's of, why he hangs out with you so he can feel tall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> now I've never cared about height, like, but. That was you like, just had that like, ah, oh, the fuck is going yeah. on here? I'm an I'm an LA average. I'm the average height in LA. Feels yeah. like, uh, yeah, that sounds about right. Mm-hmm. Um, speaking of like, you don't drink anymore uh, or ever. Uh, I like I'm trying to chill off the liquor, right? Because Chia fucking gets so irritated when I come home drunk, right? So I'm chilling off the liquor. I was like, all right, babe, when I when I when I shoot, I'm gonna keep it beer and wine or whatever, right? So. <laughs> so this morning though, uh, you know, uh, shout out to the to the homies at the um. What's the name of their podcast? Motherfucking. Um, uh, they wear wigs. Yeah, they wear wigs. God, <laughs> wait, ah, God damn it. Sorry, guys. Uh, the the shoot the fucking what the what is this shit called? Um, hold on a second. I gotta look this up because I'm gonna be so mad at myself. Um, uh, uh, they got good lighting on theirs. They do have good lighting. Good lighting. No, our lighting's way better. Yeah, um, of course. <laughs> <laughs> we asked for the good lighting. <laughs> 
I know I just have a tip. Oh, Under the Influence. Okay, the Under Under the Influence podcast. Shout out to them. They sent me a case of this uh, nectar uh, alcoholic spritzer, uh, hand seltzer shit. And um, so I... Say hand? Yeah, hand seltzer. Hard seltzer. God. <laughs> uh, he but, just started drinking no, too. Because I, I, I was reading <laughs> and my thumb was covering. He said R. <laughs> hand seltzer. The boy's not good at word, all right? Oh my God. So I... um. I store the shit. We store our, our beers and our seltzers and our, our, our hand seltzers upstairs. Mm -hmm. So this morning, I went to go grab like four for the show, you know, for whatever guests and you and me. Mm -hmm. And then I had them. And then I saw this, this camel jacket I wanted to wear that I won the other episode. So I grabbed it. I slung it this way. So I'm carrying them, right? But as I'm walking down the stairs, she is walking by the steps. So I have the jacket seemingly covering something. And then as I'm walking, one of them slips out the bottom. You don't know this part. Slips out the bottom. Kink, kink, kink. Falls all the way down the stairs. She was like, are you hiding that you're taking <laughs> alcohol? I'm like, no, I'm not. It looks crazy. Bruh. <laughs> Aww. He's like, I'm gonna tell. Problem. He's like, I'm gonna tell Rick to make sure you only drink it one. I was like, I'll tell Rick that. I'm not tripping. I was not hiding. Bro, he was sneaking yeah. alcohol out of the house. She texted me. She said, "Keep an eye on the moron." Oh my god! He's trying to sneak alcohol like a 15 year old. Look, if I was trying to sneak, I'd do this. <laughs> And I would have crept out there incognito <laughs> with with the mask, so she wouldn't have known who, who had. Was. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Bye, babe. <laughs> Bye, random woman. Give a kiss. <laughs> See your child. <laughs> uh, but now I don't know you, but I love both of you. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely looks suspect. It's, it was like a cartoon, like a, like the way the shit just kept like it fell out my hands and shit. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm 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 chilling off the liquor. Uh, Chia gets very irritated with me. I mean, Rick's been irritated with me for years, but it was always kind of like we were always out and about. Like I gotta come home to Chia and be drunk and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. I'm I'm chilling off the liquor. You know, if anything, I'll have like a little like one that I'll be sipping. But I'm like I'm I'm, I'm chilling. You know? I know. He looked at he he told me blades. <laughs> no hard liquor. I was like uh, I'm kicking back too. He said. <laughs> No, no hard liquor. Fine. I mean, you can drink if you want. No, it's never fun being the only drunk one. <laughs> it's never fun. I've been pulling back on my alcohol consumption too. Man, waking up at three in the morning is not a fucking joke. My birthday hit after that. I was like, I need to go to bed by a certain time. I'm like, please don't invite me out during the week. I can't do it. I don't have enough hours in my day to go to work, go to the gym and then go out. Because the girls, you know, life is opening up. People mm -hmm. want to go back outside. And I was like, y'all bitches ain't been in the gym. So <laughs> you ain't inviting me out for another month. And they said, shit, you're right. I said, I know. So let me sleep. <laughs> let me get my schedule right. So then next month, we can start going out at six. Uh, tell, <laughs> tell, tell us about your, your birthday shenanigans. How was that? Oh, You had a birthday recently. Yeah, I did. So I did a brunch with Blades over at District 6 in San Francisco with Anthony Presents. Tony uh, Clark. Yep. And that was amazing. I had all the family come out. Because I always do one big friends and family thing. My nieces. Whoo! <laughs> if you're watching right now. If you're watching right now, you might catch a nip slip. You Make sure a... you tune in on YouTube. Make Man, yes. Yeah, so and please, I need to have this company sponsor me again. I need more <laughs> clothes that actually fit me. Anywho, so I uh, did brunch with Blaze. It was really nice. My nieces came. Some of my coworkers, friends for like 15 plus years showed up. And then um, I just did a lot of random activities. I went horseback riding. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, my homegirl. In this outfit? No. Oh, I actually I say it looked like you were going to watch I, races. Yeah. Races. <laughs> I was really disappointed because it was uh, cold in Half Moon Bay where I went. So I was like, I can't look cute because it's, yeah. it's cold. And I had to wear the helmet because I had to go. <laughs> you can't look cute wearing a helmet all the time. So I was like, hey, after I get better at riding this horse, I'm have a better outfit because you can't be stunned on a horse with your helmet on. And Damn, the strap, you, you should know? do a photo shoot on a horse. That would be fire. With the helmet. With the helmet. <laughs> Naked, but with the helmet. <laughs> Safety first. <laughs> <laughs> Did that sweat suit and the helmet? <laughs> sweat suit and a football helmet. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that would that would be really cute. Uh, so I did that. I did a bunch of dinners, a a lot of those, and then I'm actually going to Napa, um, the first week of April. Mm -hmm. One of my best friends, she um, Jen, is taking me on a hot air balloon ride. Fun. Yes, we have this. 
you know, this little pack amongst the girls that are like, yo, don't be desperate and just try to go on dates with dudes to do these things. Like, you got money. Don't act broke. We can all do this shit together. So we have a list of different activities that we want to do that ideally is, like, really romantic. Mm. But you don't want to ruin the experience by doing it with somebody that you probably, you With know, some fuck boy. Exactly. That wants to fuck. Boy. Boy. That's right. So we have all these things that we want to do. And Hot Air Balloon Ride is next up on the list. Uh, I went and did archery. Okay. Uh, fucked up, fucked up my arm doing archery. Actually, mm. that was terrible. Uh, but yeah, you know my parents, my parents are about to go on a, a hot air balloon situation as well. They were like, it's funny too because when my parents Boy, are boys taking them. Oh right. my <laughs> fuck that, <laughs> um, <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> well, I was just gonna say, you know, when they, I tell them now, anytime. Because they don't have like a retirement. Take you serious what? with this mask off. <laughs> oh, yeah. Take the fucking mask I, off. I, it's just the crookedness of right. it. Right. <laughs> and I kept talking yeah. at that motherfucker yeah, too. And I'm, well. I'm over here trying to tell my story and he's, I'm looking at the fucking bandit over here. So my my parents, um, you know, they don't have like a retirement fund because they had the restaurant, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, for 20 years or whatever. So, but all their homies, they have retirement money and their homies are always trying to go on vacations and stuff like that, go on trips. And I tell them, I'm like, anytime you guys want to go on these trips, just let me know. I got you. I got you. That's why I gr- That's why I work. They right? gave birth to a retirement fund. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Dad, sorry. I'm not there yet. <laughs> so. Never. Um, so I get, I get two calls. I'm not there. <laughs> Oh, never did that. Yeah, never Rick's dad. So I get two calls, right? Um, my mom calling and being like, she's like, hey, okay, so, you know, sorry, we didn't expect them. You know, we didn't expect it. We thought the trip was in September, but they need the money now. She's like, oh my God, thank you so much. We're going to send you, you know, we're going on a, you know, it's a whole thing. They have to book the house and we're, they're taking a bus and, you know, we're going to, they're getting a thing and we're going to hot air balloon in, in New Mexico, or whatever. She's like, oh, thank you so much. May you may you keep getting blessed and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, thank you. It's cool, mom. It's cool. I got you. I got you. Don't trip. I told you I got you. I want y'all to travel the world, right? And my dad will be like, who didn't know my mom already hit me up for the money for the trip was like, oh, they want to go for two whole weeks. <laughs> oh, God. Can you believe in one house? Oh, my God. <laughs> and I'm like, that, that sounds fun. You should go. He's like, no, it's bad for my health. <laughs> it, it, my blood pressure. Be with them for, be with your mom for two oh, weeks my- on a bus. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, well. It's kind of already paid you're for. Right. Yeah. You, so you're going like, to go. No, no. He's definitely going. I'll make yeah. his ass go. Yeah, yeah. But. but I love random activities. That's the goals for this year. It's all the shit that looks dope, I want to do. Just random shit. I'm trying to find... Uh, I want to make pottery. I want to go and do the whole ghost experience. You know, like okay. the that's just fun. I want to. I want to play with the clay. Mm. I want to mold it and have a hot instructor. And you and want the spirit of your dead boyfriend, boyfriend to, to come? come yes. Yeah, I want all of that. If you know where I can do that, please send me the link because as we were looking to do that one time, uh, we were drinking. My friend almost booked us classes in Ohio. <laughs> There's there's literally one in Culver City you can go to. Me and Chia went. Woo. It's, they, they have little classes you can go to. Rick? There's one two blocks away from my house. And it's on the street where all the violence happens, <laughs> according to the um the app. what's the what's the name of that app? Next door. Citizen. Citizen app. Next yeah. door. <laughs> <laughs> and I went over there because mm-hmm. I had to do some stuff over there. And I was like, why is this here? Of right. all places, because it's 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 a pottery studio. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right next to the crackheads and right. <laughs> shooting and the stabbings. Oh, the wow. perfect place to hide drugs in the pot, dog. Oh, oh damn. You just blew the whole cover. Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> or make a clay shiv. <laughs> <laughs> I also want to do all the random... I love doing random things. Yeah. Like, me and Rick went to go watch um, Lord of the Dance. Uh, oh, fucking River Dance. River Sweet Dance. River. One time. Yeah. Bro, we always fell. I almost fell asleep. I was yeah. snoring in that. <laughs> we really? left after, like, yeah. the first act. We were oh, like, shit. all right. And I, I hated to be those, like... Because, you know, we went there looking looking like a couple guys that wouldn't normally be there. Right. Yeah. And and I I didn't want to be those guys that, like, looked like they were bored and left. But we were bored and we left. Mm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Hopefully Shin Yun is not the same. Yes, he was. Oh my god, <laughs> like, I, I really want to go. Oh, I'm yes. going. I'm going. going. I am going. And I, I was care. like, hell yeah. End, well, end of April. Really? I think it starts yeah. April 28th. We, through fucking forever. The <laughs> ads for that run all over the Bay Area. I want to go. I think there's one in 
San Francisco and in San Jose. Okay, you're gonna go. I'm okay. gonna go, and I'm gonna see if they try to get me into the cult. <laughs> <laughs> he hit me like last week. He was like, "Let's go to Shin Yun." I'm like, "Fuck yeah!" Oh. Bro, when I, I posted it on Instagram, I was like, "I'm quit bullshitting." I'm going to see yes. Shin Yun. The amount of, bro, no, don't do it. Why? I got, I was Why? like, Why? you've been, well, no. I was like, just shut up. Uncultured. I got to see what's going on. But yeah. there's like, there's videos online, like exposing it as some sort of cult. Or what? Some shit like that. But the videos I've seen, it's about like the people performing in, in it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I, I don't give the, a fuck about y'all. Yeah, <laughs> no, I, I give a fuck if it's really that. But <laughs> I, I have to see. Like it's yeah. been since I was a kid. Yeah. <gasps> I have to see what it is. It's, what it's always about. been like some weird like mission. I don't like I don't even know if it was real until like yeah. two years yeah. ago. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, what is it? What if they shaking ass in it? <laughs> that would be fucking crazy. What if it's a sex call and it turns oh, into a big Oh party? my god. Okay, I'm gonna bring my dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Make sure go. I brought my dick. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, leave that shit at home, Rick. You're gonna scare everybody <laughs> off. Fuck Pull that. out. So it's come to my attention that some of our listeners don't know what HelloFresh is. What? Mad weird, but I guess I'll tell y'all what it is. Okay. HelloFresh is a food delivery service that has farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Mm. Oh. You can skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. Yeah. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Now, it's all about convenience with HelloFresh, right? Not only are the ingredients pre-portioned, like I said, but they give you recipes. They tell you exactly how to cook it. And they even have certain options like the family-friendly or quick and easy recipes. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to recipes, you can pick your favorites from 50 different weekly options. You got variety. 50? Mm -hmm. I didn't even know 50 different dishes existed. <laughs> <laughs> And you also have the option to skip weeks if you need to. Let's say you're going on vacation or yeah. something like that. Um, you can change the delivery date. They're super flexible. Yeah, you can update all the preferences that you want on there. HelloFresh is really looking out for you when it comes to this cooking stuff. I got the pescatarian option right now. Dude. I did. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah. I thought you were Catholic. <laughs> Shut up. Now you're eating fish and shrimps. <laughs> Am. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I personally get the one that says meat. Uh huh. I know. I mean, I just like meat. You do. Mm -hmm. I don't care how that sounds. <laughs> I like it. Right? It sounds the way you think it sounds. <laughs> but I definitely I feel cool when I'm cooking for myself. No microwave involved. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So right now for our listeners, if you go to HelloFresh.com/slash No Chaser sixteen, okay, and use code No Chaser sixteen for up to 16 free meals Wait. and three gifts. Wait, what? 16. That's a lot of food. That's a lot of food. That's a lot of food. Wow, well, what's, what's that? That's, just, mm, That's a lot. Like two days for me. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously, go right now. HelloFresh.com slash NoChaser16 and use code NoChaser16. No and I'm going to say it again. You get 16 free meals and three free gifts. You can't beat that. You can't beat that. And that, right there, that's why it's America's number one milk kit. Facts. So, let me talk to you real quick, because today's episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Say it with us, Blue, Blue Chew. Chew. Oh, Blue Chew is making waves and bringing more confidence to the bedroom by offering chewable tablets that can help men get stronger and longer lasting erections. Ow. Now, I don't care how many gas station pills you buy or how many bootlegs you get, it's <laughs> lipstick on My your pet. dick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna see. But if you want, if you want the lipstick on your dick, then go to Blue Chew. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable form and at a fraction of the cost. Okay, Blue Chew's tablets help men achieve harder, stronger erections to combat all forms of ED, erectile dysfunction. Blue Chew is an online prescription service, so no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. And it ships right to your door in a discreet package, okay? Blue Chew's licensed medical providers work with you to find the right ingredient and strength for your prescription. If you don't like swallowing pills, no problems here because Blue Chew's Sildenafil and Tadalafil tablets are 
chewable, okay? So if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And I'll tell y'all what, when I'm trying to make a baby, Blue Chew comes in handy because, you know, your boy can go around or two. <laughs> but when the ovulation is ovulating, sometimes you want to get in there with some extra, extra rounds just to be safe, you know? Makes yeah. sense. And I'll be wanting to go to sleep after round two. <laughs> Let me tell you. Blue Chew be waking you up. I'll I mean, be asleep during round two. <laughs> <laughs> and here's a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use promo code TIM at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com promo code TIM <laughs> to receive your first month free. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. The, the tagline of it, though, I never saw this before. It's China before communism Is that or some shit like That's that. Really yeah, tagline? like it's, it's like a show about oh. pre Coming this okay. China or some shit like that. Everybody just knew how to flip around and fly all over the place <laughs> before the communist came. <laughs> Let me look that up. We were beautiful dishes. <laughs> Xin Yun, witness a culture reborn. Xin Yun. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm I mean, trying to think of other activities that I want to do. Archery was definitely one I wanted it, to do. It was fine. Yeah. It's fine. Make sure you wear your shield. They have yeah. this brace, man. And don't, if you are hypermobile. That shit will fuck you up. I have a video. I was bruised mm -hmm. all in here. But it was really cool. Yeah. It was really cool. Uh, I go to the shooting range. I've done that. Uh, what else did I want to do? Uh, yeah, if there's any random ass activities, I'm with it. Yeah. This girl took me on a uh, date to a shooting range in New Jersey once. Mm -hmm. When we was there for a Playlist was it? Yeah, when it was on one time in Jersey, or, or maybe it was um a school of hard knocks. No, no, no. It, it was a playlist. Right. A playlist because random people were there. Okay. And I remember at one point just getting paranoid as fuck because she was shooting and I was standing back, can't be all close. Yeah. And I was like, wait a minute. I could shoot people right now. Yeah. <laughs> because uh -huh. I'm standing behind all the people that are shooting. I was like, damn. So when I'm shooting. <laughs> People could shoot me. Oh yeah. my god! So then I just got paranoid. I have never been shooting again. Really? Oh, but I have... me, me and the homies used to go all the time. Yeah. So when yeah. she was like, "Let's go shooting when you're here," I'm like, "Dope!" And she had guns. Weird, but <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah. So, but I was like, "Damn, yeah, you could, you could die." Yeah. I always have that thought about like random shit though. Like when someone comes to repair something at the crib, I'm like, "I can murder this fool right now." No one <laughs> yeah. know. Oh yeah. Or you can murder me. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's how I use it mm -hmm. every day after watching Dexter. Every day. That was my thoughts for a long time. Yeah. Whenever I see anybody like chilling in a car when I walk past, I'm like, I could just blow this motherfucker's brains out. He wouldn't even know. And then I'm like, damn, if I wasn't paying attention, I could walk past his car. He could blow my motherfucking yeah. brains out. I wouldn't even know. That's why I hate scary. I hate roles. Everybody listening right now is about to be super paranoid today. Or they yeah. be like, oh, bro. We can relate. Yeah. Yeah, true. Last night in that fucking club, mm -hmm. at one point I was like, nobody searched me before I came in here. Oh, no. So nobody search the rest of you motherfuckers. Oh, no. Who got what? Now I'm paranoid. <laughs> or like when you're getting a massage, you be like, this girl can murder me while I'm naked right now. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Or these police could come in here while she's... No. <laughs> <laughs> you ruin everything. Oh, no. I, I remember, you know, I hate roads that are like dimly lit, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. where there's no lights because I'm always like... Man, I could I could get murdered on this road and no one would find me for like days. Yeah. And one time fucking PD flow, man. We were he really wanted to film something at the top of this like hill, this mountain or whatever, right? And he was driving us down like some fucking dimly lit road on this mountain and in his convertible. So we're like the the top is down, it's at night. So we're exposed to the night, you feel me? It's there. I feel it. It's night. <laughs> and there's no light. And I'm already kind of like a little, little, little sketched out by the whole scene. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, ah, oh, man, anybody can murder us right now. We mm -hmm. never know. And then he starts playing some fucking, you know, Peter listens to all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? And he started playing some like Imogen Heap, like the the people that did the, mm, what you say? Oh, man. So, but they, he was playing like a not single. So it was very yeah. like, very just, mm, Man. Yeah. While, we're on this, murder movie. while we're on this yeah. mountain, right? And I'm like, bro, can you turn this shit off, please? And he's he laughs. I'm like, 
Dog, it's freaking oh. me out. Turn this shit off. I'm getting freaked yeah. out, dog. Please Let turn off this you. scary music. There is nobody more fearless <laughs> than a nerd who wants to get the shot. <laughs> Them fucking directors, man, they will yeah. go into anything. Oh, there's an abandoned house in the worst neighborhood in America. It'll be some sick shots in there. Like, no, there's some sick people in there. <laughs> Niggas, get away. But yeah, they don't Bro, care. <laughs> there was a story about, um, shit, what is that? What was that show about the drugs, but it's set in, um, but it's mostly in Spanish? Um, Narcos. 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 The story, you ever heard the story about the showrunner that um, went to go peep locations before they started filming? Mm -hmm. They were going, they were in some area, I don't know if it was, I don't know what country it was, but in a kind of like seedy area trying to scout locations and the motherfucker got murdered. <gasps> Damn. Yeah. Mm -mm, ain't no job worth dying over. Eh, like, I don't know if you're really in Colombia. <laughs> right, right. Shoot that shit in Arizona, bro. <laughs> yeah. Like, whatever you gotta do. Like, <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just always, like, <laughs> you know, I try to, like, uh, be wary of of where I'm at at all times. You know what I'm saying? Even even when I'm walking down the street in a nice neighborhood, I'm still constantly looking over my shoulder. You know what I'm saying? I remember you didn't used to. <laughs> oh, man. Back before uh, GPS, uh -huh. <laughs> this motherfucker will pull over in the worst mm. areas to try to figure out where we're going and just stop. I'm like... No, no, do you, no. Do you not see what I see here? No, he doesn't. <laughs> he didn't. Trash cans are everywhere. <laughs> Graffiti is everywhere. This chain link fence is broken. Oh. We don't stop here. We just, I'm going to pull over real quick. It's nighttime. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Well, I can't. we probably, if it was before GPS, we probably didn't have a lot of gas money. Oh, my also, God. I didn't want to burn up the gas. Okay. You that know. makes sense. Struggle times. It was a struggle back then. I remember going home from work one time from Foot Locker <laughs> on like an empty gas tank, Ugh. being like a few blocks away from home and literally putting like 28 cents on gas just to make sure I got home. Yeah. And the gas lady laughed at me. I was like, can I get 28 cents on three? And she was like, <laughs> and she was like, she was like, hey, don't, just don't go too far, all right? I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever, bitch. Hey, fuck <laughs> you, gas like, Row. I wonder what she doing now. Yeah, yeah still at the these gas, gas prices, huh? Shit. <laughs> That's crazy. crazy. And I hate to beat a dead horse because everybody's talking about it, but that shit is crazy. I, I went... And I've been looking up electric cars because I drive 80 miles a day. Mm. 80 miles a day, Monday through Friday. Mm. Yes. So the Mustang has been holding up, but my poor baby is uh, 2012. She is great, but, you know, she needs repairs at this point. So I was looking at cars and BMW actually has uh, the i4. Yeah. And it is, oh, it nice. I just got put onto a new electric car. What? That's made here in Vegas. It's called Karma. Okay. Karma Automo Automotive. Okay. Look it up. That shit looks nice. Look, they look like Fiskers. Fiskers? Yeah. Fisker. What's that? You never heard of Fisker? No. Can we pretend? It's, it's... <laughs> Just look it up. Okay. <laughs> look it up. Just look it up. But... And they fucking, they got like Lamborghini doors and oh, shit. Oh, shit. Like, it's sexy and it. it's around the same prices as a Tesla. Yeah. yeah. So um, I've driven, I've driven Teslas before. But there's a learning curve when you're driving a Tesla. As soon as you release yeah. off the gas, the car stops. Oh. But with the i4, if you're not used to driving like a Tesla, that, or you've just been driving regular cars, it feels the same. They had a sport mode, man. I was so devastated, though. I was ready because your girl's been working. And I was like, I got good credit. I got monies. I'm going to get the car, set up the test drive. They're like, yeah, but by the way, this is the only one we have in Northern California. Side note, it is only for demos. And also, you are going to have to order the car. And that's not going to come in until next spring. Oh, God. Next spring. A whole year. I was like, I don't know if I'm even going to be at this job yeah. next year, let alone uh, alive. Oh. Right? <laughs> so... I might not have no feet next year. <laughs> we don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> so, but then they're like, oh, well, you know, the i3, or there's like some other model. They're like, well, this is a hybrid. You can get that. It'll only be like six months. I'm like, I ain't nobody got fucking six months to wait. Yeah. Gas prices are high now. Man, yeah. Audi got this brand new all-electric car. It's their new e-tron. Oh! I went to go test drive that one too. Oh. Tell me why they're like, boop, boop, boop. sorry, ma'am. We just sold it today. Uh. They sold their demo, their test driving car because everybody is going it's nuts. That shit's beautiful. It's like, 
it's so sick, but it's like a, you know, it's like a hundred thousand dollar car. Yeah. And um, it's taking the place of their R8 is what they told me. And um, so there's one, a white one at the Long Beach and Audi or the Audi in Long Beach. <laughs> and and I was like looking to lease a new car and I was looking at that shit. And I was like, God, man. I was like, bro, tell me, yeah, keep keep it straight with me, bro. How much is this going to be a month if I was to lease this motherfucker, right? He's like, it's going to be a good like 2K a month. I was like, Damn. ah. I was like, ah, oh, man, I don't know who I want to do. And the Chia definitely was, wasn't trying to let me no. do that because she was like, come on, man. But, oh, man, it's so sad. I, I sat there and crunched. I sat there and crunched the numbers. I'm like, can I do this? Because the one I was looking at came out to about like 71 after taxes, which is, you know, realistically not too, not, not too bad. Granted, again, it's like 80 to $90 every time I fill up my tank. That is twice a week. Yeah. Um, but the only thing is, is everything's so back ordered yeah. that nobody can get a car. My other co-host, he's still trying to get a car and he's been looking for the longest time and he has, shares a car with his wife and nobody can find something that makes sense. Yeah. It, what is this shortage on chips? Chips, Man. chip shortage. Oh, that shit is so dumb, bro. Yeah. Chia got this. Um, so we got her a little mini SUV. Uh, we got the Q5 for her like last year, right? And the chip shortage techn technology shit is fucking up nowadays because literally, she was like, "Hey, how come my car doesn't have a GPS?" They're like, "Oh, the new ones don't have GPS." That's why. He was like, "But you you can plug it in and use your phone, right?" She's like, "Yeah, but." What if I don't? Have, my phone doesn't work one day. Like, like it doesn't have GPS capabilities. They were like, it was a whole lot of excuses just to say we can't put a GPS in your car. Oh yeah, and you know you have to pay for uh, certain features like to charge your phone. In the new BMWs, you have to pay for the feature to charge your phone. What? They have yeah, so it's there, it's available, and it's like yeah, you can charge your phone. You have this, you have a charging pad, and then when you go and do the breakdown, you actually have to pay like yeah. four hundred, five hundred dollars for the charging. Yo, pad. I here's some bullshit about <laughs> these new cars. Okay, so I was I was leasing a brand new BMW. I'm not leasing anymore. I'll get into that another day. Um, so I was leasing this brand new BMW for like three months, <laughs> right? Uh, I took it. It was a sexy 540i. It was like this with the peanut butter inside. Peanut butter inside, and, uh! and the exterior was sick too because it looked like dark blue in the sunlight. And then when it got a little darker, it looked straight black. Right, this motherfucker was sexy. Right, so I took it to San Diego because me and David were shooting um uh, a when foodie calls in Legoland. Right, mind you, this is a brand new car, three months old. On the way back, I'm like, is my tire flat? I'm like. Oh. What the fuck? And we look. Sure enough, I pull over. It's flat, right? I'm like, yo, these are run flats. They're supposed to be straight. But this motherfucker was flat as fuck. Mm -hmm. So he's like, he looks over me. He's like, what are we going to do? I'm like, you don't want to change the tire? He's like, no. I'm like, I do. I'm going to show you right now, right? I'm like, I'm about to show this motherfucker how to be a man, right? Uh -huh. I get out the car. I'm hype, right? I'm like, let's go. I'm like trying to lift up the back, the back thing to get the spare tire. I'm like... This shit's not coming up. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to dig. I'm trying to find a handle. I'm like, it's not coming up. He comes up. He, he's Googling. He's like, there's no spare tire in this car. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, the new BMWs don't have a spare tire because of the run flats. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> ah, fuck. That sucks. So, like, okay. So now I got to pull over. I don't. I don't have AAA. I should get AAA. How do you not? Have, well, I just. I just. I just, I just forgot to sign up. Wow. For it. You need me to put you on my membership? <laughs> no. I mean, I'm good. I just. I, I always felt like, whatever. So pull over. Now I gotta get it. You know, fixed and mm -hmm. get a new tire and shit. But I'm like, how do they not have spare tires, dog? Bruh, you got that's that, that's annoying as fuck because. That's the only thing I know how to do on a car. Just <laughs> change a tire? Just change a fucking tire. Same. <laughs> oh, my God. I have a tire pump. The plugs into the car, you can pump up the tire. I just had a flat the other day. I mean, to the rim flat. Jeez. Like, I thought I pissed somebody off and they slashed my tire flat. Mm. So I go out and the guys from the show are like, call AAA. I was like, call AAA? I don't need to call AAA. I got the tire pump. My co-host Benny was like, girl, call AAA. I was like, move out. I yeah. grew, grew up in the valley, got because I don't have a um, spare tire in my car anymore because I already used that one. <laughs> and jump so, on it already. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm using right now. But I got brand new tires and they're doing construction on the Bay Bridge constantly. So I had ran over some metal, but I was like, hook that up, pump that up. The guys are like, oh, it actually works. I'm like, yes, it actually works. <laughs> like, I don't know how to, ch I can change a tire, but I don't need to have a yeah. pump. Yeah. So he's like, Go into the tire shop now. My husband's like, I'm going to take a nap and then I'm going to deal with it. They were like, <laughs> how are you not freaking out? I said, because it's a fucking tire, the air stain, it works, it's yeah. fine. Um, and then I went to the shop and got it fixed. But the guys were like, 
do you need me to call AAA for you? <laughs> like, do you not have AAA? I was like, I grew up in the middle of nowhere. Uh, we know what to do when a tire is flat. Yeah. I got blankets in the back. You need a blanket while we stand here? <laughs> So patients face so many options when it comes to their healthcare, right? And it can be challenging and confusing to find out what it is that you need, well, specifically the ladies, to support their reproductive and sexual health. Not all systems and doctors are created equally, and sometimes it's really difficult for us to find what fits best for our needs. Now, Favor is a digital health company that sees the whole you, from birth control and sexual wellness to skin care, menstrual care, and backed by medical experts. So these aren't just random people online telling you what to get and what to do. These are professionals. Now, when you order with Favor, it includes discreet delivery, self-care goodies, and a number of brands that they offer. They have a wide variety. So you're never just getting the same thing, say, your mom is getting. <laughs> <laughs> so not only are they discreet and the packaging is great, they also donate to Bedsider.org. So for every order, $10 donation goes to Bedsider.org when you become a patient helping low-income individuals get access to birth control, like medication, and transportation costs. So not only is your medicine being taken care of, they are helping you get to where you need to go to be seen properly. Now, adulting is super hard. I've already said this, and let alone being a woman is difficult as is. So imagine adding all the other stressors on top of it. Favor is making your life just a little bit simpler. When it comes to our health care and our birth control and our sexual health, ladies, you know, it is not the easiest thing or comfortable uh, topic to discuss. But with Favor, it takes all of that awkwardness out. The Pill Club is now Favor, and Favor offers professionally prescribed birth control subscriptions and sexual wellness products delivered straight to your door for free. Favor carries over 120 FDA-approved brands and shipped to all 50 states. Don't worry. Everybody's getting some. Most brands of birth control are free with insurance or Medicaid. Otherwise, prices start as low as $7 a month without insurance. Let me tell you, these pills get expensive, but $7 a month, you have no excuses. Favor delivers birth control to your door free in discreet packaging along with fun self-care gifts and goodies. Let me tell you, these are, uh, they're cute. You, you'll be surprised at what you see in there. Right now, when you go to heyfavor.com slash Chaser, Favor is offering a $10 donation to Bedsider.org for every No Chaser listener who becomes a patient. Your donations will help low-income individuals get access to birth control through Bedsider.org. That's heyfavor.com slash chaser to get your first birth control care package and donate to help more women in need of affordable health care and birth control. Remember, heyfavor.com slash chaser. You must use the link to make the donation. You know... It's funny, Nikki Blades. What? There's all these gimmicks that promise a great night's sleep. I don't care what kind of toppers there are or how heavy a blanket may be. It's lipstick on a pig. <laughs> if you're sleeping on a terrible mattress, your sleep will be terrible. We it's should. that simple. That's why I recommend sleeping on a purple mattress, okay? And that's because only purple mattresses have the Gel Flex Grid. Mm. It's super stretchy, ultra squishy material that adapts and flexes around pressure points and doesn't retain heat. Um, the Gel Flex Grid is amazingly supportive for your back and legs while cushioning your shoulders, neck, and hips no matter how you feel. Unlike memory foam, which remembers everything mm. like that bitch I used today. <laughs> Thanks to the Gel Flex Grid, purple mattresses bounce back as you move and shift. You'll never have that I'm stuck feeling people get with memory foam. I love that because, you know, even with the Gel Flex pillows, mm. um, it's like it gives you some support, but without being too squishy. You know what I'm saying? I'm like Goldilocks. I need it just in the middle. You just know what I'm saying? Right. I am actually a new owner of a purple mattress. Uh -huh. And let me tell you, the ad is not a lie. Okay. I'm heavy. <laughs> <laughs> and I still feel like I could just roll around across the top of it without dipping in. Mm -hmm. But it's not like super firm and hard. Mm -hmm. It's soft. It's cushioned. But I'm not dipping in anywhere. Hell. I don't know how they do it, but I ain't complaining. Hell yeah. So, y'all need to get you a purple mattress. Go to purple.com slash nochasergang10 and use code nochasergang10. For a limited time, you can get 10% off any order of $200 or more. That's purple.com slash nochasergang10. Use code nochasergang10 for 10% off any order of $200 or more. One more time, purple.com slash nochasergang10. Promo code nochasergang10. Terms apply. But, but let me tell you this. After enough um, 
dirty, tire changing hands. Sexy. I'm calling triple A. Fuck that. <laughs> uh, certain areas, man, I got sucked. Piedmont is the nicer part of Oakland, but I did uh my car overheated in Piedmont. Uh, and there's nothing worse than when you know you have to pull over somewhere and AAA takes about 45 minutes to get there. And it doesn't matter what time of the day it is. Being a woman on the side of the mm, road is true. not a fun experience. Thank God. I know that if your car is overheating, you know what you do? Turn your heater on. Yes. Yeah. Turn your heater on. Windows down. Windows yeah. down. Do the whole thing. Keep water in your trunk so that you can put that in so you get to the next yeah. spot. But let me tell you, I was sweating. Yeah, yeah. Sweating. I was freaking out. I hate even thinking about getting stuck in certain areas. Yeah. Ugh. Man. Triple A or not. When I tell y'all I was hyped to show David that I knew how to change a tire. Oh, and, and it then just let happen. down. The, fir the first time He's I over here rolling up his sleeve. Yeah, bro. Like, like, my, like, what's up, dog? It's my time. Pull out the phone. I don't get to do this. many manly things, but I'm going to show you how it's done right now. Because the first time I did change a tire, it, it wasn't even like, let me Google YouTube video how to do it. Mm -hmm. I just like... I, I had been shown once and I vaguely remembered and I was like, I'm going to just figure this shit out. I think I was at Cal State Long Beach. And my shit was flat as I was trying to go home. And I was just like, oh, I got to do this shit, right? <laughs> and I did it. I felt so proud. And it was another day. We all went on a trip to San Diego. I don't know if you were with us. It was maybe me and the boy. Well, I was running around in a Batman mask um, and a Superman cape <laughs> that I just happened uh, to have in my trunk. Yeah, it wasn't me. <laughs> okay, so we went to San Diego. <laughs> didn't witness that. Uh, slash Mexico. It was me and the homies and a couple home girls. And... So, oh, this was on the, the little gold Corolla I used to have with the fucked up shocks. And... Tire was flat in the parking garage on the roof, but the, the fucking nuts were so tight, bro. Like nobody could get it, right? And so you get a tight nut. Yeah, mm -hmm. you got you gotta get that nut real tight, mm -hmm. but sometimes that should be too tight. Yeah. So I like, so we're like, fuck, well, what are we gonna do? And I'm like, so I put on my Batman mask. <laughs> I put on my Superman cape. I did a I did a lap around the park. I was like, I'm gonna get this shit. I'm Superman. Watch this. I grabbed the thing. I said, like, ah! <laughs> and I got <like>, yes. <laughs> and then I did it again to all the other. Like, ah! <laughs> and I changed that time. I was like, yeah, Superman. So funny. I'm such a man. <laughs> so, I, I'm sure it felt good. He's probably fun. crying after I did it. I did it. I did it. <laughs> My fucking hands are bleeding. <laughs> but I did it. I don't remember who I was with, but they were determined to change their tire themselves on some like, I got this, I got this type of shit. So I'm like, all right. And they put the jack on the very like outside oh. and just dented their yeah. shit from up under. I was like, no. you sure you don't you want sure some help? No. Okay. Uh, I don't remember who it was. Triple A. Get triple A. I should get. <laughs> it's just good to have Triple H. Just we, really we needed Triple A that one time. We were at Six Flags, me, Rick, and the homie Chris. And so none of y'all had Triple A. Uh, I think he might have had it, but it, they took forever. It took forever. Yeah. And when I when I tell you, we were the last car in the parking lot in a theme park. Yeah, uh, that's late. And it was fucked up because this is how this is why we needed Triple A because he lost his keys oh. on Tatsu. Have you been to Six Flags, Magic Mountain? No. Oh damn! All right, you like yet. roller coasters? I do. Okay, we should go. Yay. So Tatsu was a ride where you lay on your stomach and you kind of fly. Oh, over. that sounds fun. So his keys were in his pocket, but oh, he's no. also had a hangy downy dangly. Yeah. And we got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking flat. Oh my God. <laughs> and uh, so he uh, we got to the car, realized he didn't have his keys. Mm -hmm. Went to fucking check. They couldn't find them. So we just called AAA and we're there forever in the blazing hot sun in this parking lot. Uh, yeah, sad. I've locked my keys in my car several times. It's bad. <laughs> yeah, that's what I got AAA for initially. Because <laughs> I, I kept locking my keys in my car. Damn. And they would just fall out of my little pockets. We got little pockets, ladies. Man, um, to make it, not to skew the vibe. But, but did y'all see that? Vibes. No, don't do it. I don't want to talk about it. Did y'all see that no. video? No, nope. I didn't watch it. I refused to watch it. I, 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 did I, you watch I, it? I refused at first too and then I No, nope, I, I refuse. I don't want to watch it. You know what we're talking no. about? It was a ride. Mm, in, oh, Orla in Orlando. Oh, yeah, I read. I didn't. No, oh. I did not. I refused to watch yeah, it. Yeah, it was fucked no. up. Oh. I've, I've gotten to the point with certain things that I just try not to watch because if something happens to me, I hope that somebody... Doesn't get uh, entertainment. I mean, of. especially I mean, social media. It's, it's easy to get desensitized because you yeah. see all fucked up shit, right? I, I refuse to watch it. Yeah, that one. I 
when I first it when it first popped up on my feed and it said caution graphic, I was like, ah, I was like, I can't watch this because I didn't know how graphic was gonna be. Mm-hmm. And then luckily, I, when I finally did watch it, they blurred like the actual body on the floor. If y'all know what we're talking about, it was oh. a drop ride. Um, I don't know how it happened. Orlando. I don't know if the employees didn't check him or he didn't buckle his shit. I mean, or it just malfunctioned. But as the drop is on its way down, a dude falls out. A fourteen year old dude falls out of the thing. And it wasn't from the tippy top. It was on its way down, which is probably even like also fucked up because it's like the the, yeah, the, the drop. Yeah. yeah, and it's like so he hit the ground, and um, and then uh, I was like, because I've never seen no shit like that happen before. Maybe at like you know like a fucking cheap carnival ride, you hear about shit breaking right. down, but this was like a whole like a real at like one of these monster part, yeah. rides. Yeah. It was it's new, the tallest. Yeah, in the world. yeah. It was oh. uh just built last year. Damn. Yeah, but somebody had sent it to me. It was like, oh, did you hear what happened? And I had seen it. I had seen the headline. I didn't, Mm -hmm. I refused to watch it. They're like, do you want to see the video? I was like, no. I I just, because it, like you were talking about being desensitized to so many of these crazy ass events that I'm like, this one in particular, especially because he's only 14. I was like, I just can't because I think about the families and I'm just trying to always keep that in mind when I'm on social media a lot because I have nieces. It's real people. (laughs) Yeah, they're real people. So I feel like if I at least try to instill that mentality uh, in myself that hopefully uh, other people can kind of pick up on that too because there's nothing worse. Like I remember yelling out world star, right? We used to yell out world star, <laughs> there's a fight, but then now we see shit go down and the first reaction is to pull out a phone yeah. and you're like, damn, if that was me or like yeah. someone I love and care about and that shit is on repeat every day and everyone mm-hmm. is just over here eating it up. I just hope yeah. that we do get to a point to where we can start figuring out how like not everything has to be seen. Yeah. I mean, because a lot of people have gotten killed over World star, yeah. mm-hmm. you embarrass the fuck out of me. Mm-hmm. I have to do something back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that, but that one in particular, I was like, no, fuck that's a okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let me ask you this. I know. Does that deter you from wanting to get on roller coasters? Me, yeah. Um, even more so now. I used to. I'm like, I'm not getting on shit at the carnival that's traveling right. and getting taken down and put up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? How many how many boats you lose right. in transition, yeah. right? But then that was like a standalone. Legit. This I know. is where it's supposed to be. So yeah. I'm like, yeah, get the fuck out of here. And it's just like, it's a sucky ass thought. Because when I read it, my first thought was the family. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. this kid went to go have fun. Yeah. Yeah. And he never coming back. Like, I know. I always like see. It's fucked up because uh, so she is. Well, she used to love roller coasters. I don't know. She became so lame and old over the years. But oh my <laughs> but, god, cut that part out. No, no, no. She she knows. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but we used to always get on roller coasters together. And then somewhere along the line, she got started getting dizzy and started just not feeling it. Right. So, but I was like, ah, right, babe, I'm gonna get on everything. Can't wait to take our kids on rides and you can watch the the, the backpacks and the food and shit like that. But it's definitely like, ah, man, to see a ride like that, that it's like, you know, you feel like. That's the type of shit you would normally, you know, you're like, that's this shit's not gonna break down. Right. You know, it's like, right. ah, God. Yeah. yeah. You're already, a lot of people are already scared to go mm-hmm. on yeah. these, and then that's, you know, playing in their head. But I don't know. I, I, it's. But I'm still doing it. See, mm-hmm. cause that's the thing. I love roller coasters. Yeah. So for me to feel like, hey, maybe I shouldn't get on this roller coaster sucks. Right. Cause you want to get on it, yeah. but shit like that sticks in my brain. Do like, you do you think that also comes with getting older? Like now you're way more aware of what could happen? I, I think I, that, you care or and I just me personally, I just have a history of trying to learn from other people's mistakes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not you the are. type that needs to right, fuck up first. For you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's kind of ingrained in me. Not gonna lie, like, okay, like having a kid makes you now think about things differently. Cause I used mm-hmm. to, I, you know, I, like I've been skydiving, I've been jumpy, bu- jumpy bunching <laughs> and it's like, and you drink hand seltzers now. And I drink hand seltzers. And so you think about like, ah, oh, man, like, worst case scenario, worst case scenario, yeah. something happens. And now like beta doesn't have a daddy anymore. Right. Mm. Um, but then at the same time, you it's lit. Live. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, no, but uh, but but yeah. At the same time, it's like you know. You also have to remember that, like, I mean, freak accidents could happen. They do anytime, yeah. anywhere. Right. You yeah. know. Um, 
but also like people would say like, but you know, if you're if you're skydiving, you're kind of you're putting yourself exactly. in a situation. Yeah, right? there there's certain. Did things. y'all see that video? Oh my god, this shit's crazy, bro. I saw this shit the other day. So it was group skydivers skydiving together off a plane, right? Mm. And they're all you know how they do. They be flying around the formations, each other, formation, doing whatever, whatever. So when you're doing that, when you're skydiving by yourself, you have to have like you know some type of like verification, like you've done it, you know what you're doing, right? So. There's this fucking crazy video. I'll show y'all later. I liked it on Twitter. Um, this guy jumps, and this other dude that had jumped ran into him. Oh, shit. So now this guy's knocked <gasps> out, and he's like yeah. falling down, right? The guy, literally the person with the camera on his fucking helmet, sees this happen, does like a like goes towards his homie, grabs his unconscious homie who's like dangling, sets and opens his chute. So the chute opens up while he's shit. unconsciously fucking, dangling. Fucking superhero. Wow. Ooh. And it's all on this helmet camera. Yeah. Damn. Fucking crazy. Man, that guy that got knocked unconscious must have done something right in life because yeah. <laughs> God was like, hey, no, 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 not yet. Not yet. <laughs> or something wrong and God was just trying to scare him real quick. <laughs> oh, shit, that too. Um, or, or imagine the dude, like, you jump off, you all of a sudden get knocked out, you don't know how, and you wake up and you're like, just floating <laughs> through the air. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> or he like land in a tree, like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> ah yeah. Ah, videos online. <laughs> Wild videos online. Twitter. Oh, side note: don't open up Twitter at work. I'm learning that the hard way. People Who you be been- fucking? Yeah, mm-hmm. man. Twitter because you know we gotta catch them headlines at, in the mornings. <laughs> in the, head, in the headlines, headlines for sure. <laughs> there was a week. <laughs> there was a week of like every celebrity coming out with a sex tape. On Twitter, <laughs> it was like Nelly had one. There was there was like four other people that had sex tapes, or like someone was doing something. And I was like, at my job, I have to report on entertainment headlines, and we have to go to Twitter occasionally. <laughs> and I had to turn the fucking volume off at work yeah. because sometimes I'll be on Twitter looking at whatever's trending, and I'm like, oh, there is there is somebody giving head right now on my Twitter feed. And it everyone's is- talking about how little Nelly dig is. I'm like, I can never leak my shit then. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> hey, they're ruthless. They were ruthless. They are ruthless. I'm looking like Nelly looking average to me. I'm fucking <laughs> I think Big Sean came out uh his Oh, that's he, he, said, he said that wasn't him. It wasn't yeah. him? Yeah. Oh man. I don't know. Whoever's it was. <laughs> wasn't wasn't bad. Some of y'all. That shit was kind of yeah, that uh the the fake well who's ever well, whoever it was, Sean, good was for like, you. That shit, that shit okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Go see what my dick looks like. <laughs> I'll be my Switch, whatever it is. <laughs> you want a Nintendo Switch? How big is this thing? Yeah, I grabbed my uh my Game Boy, my old <laughs> Game Boy Mini. Nah, he grabbed his, uh, his Tamagotchi. He's like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Look, y'all, at least two Apple Tamagotchis. Least two. <laughs> Apple Watch, no bands on it. <laughs> Oh, oh, did you see the video? Oh, there's a video of, <laughs> did you see of video? when Nelly um, sees that his shit leaked. Yes. He's in the middle of an interview. Yeah. What? So he's literally next to who's he next to? It was for some movie. I think it was Kevin Hart. I think they were doing um, what, like probably the real husband, real right? Husband. The real, so he's real he's next. Probably. He's, he's so, and Kevin Hart or whoever it was was talking next to him, and then Nelly does just say this. They're talking. He's like, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, God. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> He's not putting his phone. All right. So Yo, and it's always like leaked from the close friends. Y'all showing dick on your close friends? That, list? So the Big Sean shit, that's what I seen. I was like, Ain't nah, no this no. nigga's not posing his dick on close no. friends. No. Because if he has a close friends, he probably got close friends in it. Like, home. Right. Like, but why would I? Hey, y'all, look at my dick. Nah, nah that's some Snapchat shit. This ain't make no sense. But not gonna lie, like I, I knew a group of dudes that like, and I, I, I wasn't in their group chat, but they had like a group Snapchat where they would send videos of them like fucking randoms to each other in the Snapchat. Yeah, but that was just a dick. <laughs> right, 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 right. So yeah. grimy. <laughs> And I know of a, a mixed group of friends, guys and girls, who have just like a text chat mm-hmm. where they all just send shit Yo, in there. What? Hey, people, people different out there. I wow. ain't, ain't shaming you. Do you think? Nah, but, do you? Yeah, I, but I didn't. It didn't make sense. To if me. y'all want to send your fucking videos to the No Chaser Discord, we're gonna <laughs> put a link below. No, we don't even have one. Uh, <laughs> um, but Rich doesn't, Shucks, no. <laughs> I was like, doesn't don't we know somebody that rates dicks? On their Jade. 
Jade, oh, she rates. She gets paid. Good. They send money and she like gives them on a scale of Ooh, one to ten. What if we did a no chaser and we started rating people's sex tapes? <laughs> oh Yo, my god! What? I'm, I'm down for that. Why? No chase, no chaser or or OnlyFans on no chaser OnlyFans where we rate people's <gasps> sex tapes. Oh shit! Hey, tapes and notes. That's kind of lit. That's kind of lit. Wow. We rate it's, people's it's nudes. It's going to be just a lot of dicks for Nikki to rate. Probably. <laughs> but joke's on you. But we going to be looking at too, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we going to be talking mad shit. <laughs> Yo, that's something. And I'm going to have wow. mine on a scale of one to Rick. What? I'm the king dick <laughs> around here. <laughs> Yeah, three. <laughs> give me three ricks. Oh my god! Hmm, that's a, that's a that's a uh, concept. That is yeah. that is a concept. That's something to think about. Wow! All right, y'all. Thank you for watching the No huh. Podcast while we marinate on. How this. much should we charge? No, we we go. Oh, we this go is a, mo- go. Oh, it's about time. I want that fucking car. I don't know if you're joking, but I'm not. I, I am uh, uh, completely serious. I want that BMW i4 next year, so we're gonna have to start making payments now. Yeah, and I want a new BMW, so and I want to stop buying reps. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'm uh, the No Chaser Podcast. I'm Tim Chantharoxy. I'm Ricky Shuck. I'm Nikki Blades. Bye. Bye.